weather here in East Texas. Brett, I know, you know, we've been keeping track of these storms and it's a little bit of an interesting setup this week. It's over the course of a couple of days, right? Potentially. Yeah, it's, it's a very slow moving upper storm that has to move through the central and southern plains. And it takes really three days starting tonight and then eventually it moves to the east of our area by Wednesday afternoon. Right now, no watches or warnings here in East Texas. We travel up to the northeast right along the Red River. There is a tornado watch, but that covers more so southeastern and eastern Oklahoma and southwestern parts of Arkansas. That's where all the activity is right now. We don't have any showers or thunderstorms going on. Maybe around 7 or 8 o'clock we'll pop an isolated storm up close to Interstate 30. Tree pollen high today, grass pollen on the low side, mold spores were moderate. All right, so in the area in yellow, that's a slight risk. It means there could be a, some scattered severe thunderstorms possible, but really I think that's favoring areas closer to Interstate 30 and to the north. Now tomorrow it's more widespread. I think all of East Texas is at least in a slight risk. I'm going to show you why I think we're going to have scattered severe thunderstorms storms and why some of those could be intense with hail and maybe a quick tornado spin up. And then Wednesday, that's all going to shift to the east. Watch what happens here. This is the humidity. Oftentimes this time of the year, you get these clashes between very dry air and very humid air, and it's almost like a bubble just waiting to burst. Watch right here. Bam. Look at that. So tomorrow afternoon, it's like an explosive just bubble that bursts and the drier air pushes in here and that's where the thunderstorms are between about 7 and 11 o'clock tomorrow night. Then the atmosphere reloads on Wednesday and then another push of dry air comes in and this one's even more significant. So Wednesday we go to an enhanced risk of severe weather from Mount Pleasant to Henderson to center and to the east while Tyler Athens, Palestine, Crockett are all in that slight risk of severe weather. So this is how it plays out when we look at future skycast tonight. There's your little isolated thunderstorm kind of tries to race through here. Could even get one down to Tyler. I don't think it'll be severe though. Uh, atmosphere recovers tomorrow. Cloudy skies humid through the first part of the day. These scattered thunderstorms move through about two to five, maybe one or two severe storms out of that. Now keep an eye out here to the west of the storm. Look at that. So that races through here. That looks a little bit eerily sim uh, familiar to or similar to last week when we had those 100 mile an hour winds. Right now it doesn't look like the signature that would give you 100 mile an hour winds, but it would give you severe wind gusts over 55 to 60 miles an hour, over 60 miles an hour even. So we got to watch out for that. That's Tuesday evening. That race is away. And then we reload things up. Now watch what happens Wednesday afternoon with that, that second push of drier air coming in. We get these really strong thunderstorms that could have more supercellular characteristics to them Wednesday afternoon. So a couple of days we really got to watch here. Rainfall amounts wet and just that little bit of threat for flash flooding because we could be looking at one and a half to two and a half inches of rainfall in some of those heavier cells. So before severe weather, two ways to get warnings. Know where you're taking shelter, CBS 19 weather app, one of those, and plan to evacuate mobile homes or RVs or campers before the warnings are issued. When the watch is issued, get to a better sturdier shelter. Tonight, widely scattered shower thunderstorm possible this evening, otherwise cloudy and dry overnight 68. And then the severe weather threat tomorrow, smaller threat mid-afternoon, better threat tomorrow evening between about 7 and 11. Baylor Scott and White, Texas Spine and Joint Hospital, seven-day forecast. And look at this. So this is just new. This just popped in here, and it looks like, oh, Hopkins County is in a severe thunderstorm watch, and that goes until 9 o'clock. Otherwise, uh, Baylor Scott and White, Texas Spine and Joint Hospital, seven-day forecast. So afternoon, evening thunderstorms possible tomorrow. Then Wednesday thunderstorms, then mostly sunny Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Easter right now. Don't look too bad. There could be a couple of overnight thunderstorms Saturday into Sunday morning. We'll have to look at those and reassess and get you an update. But again, Hopkins County, you see that thunderstorm watch there? That's Hopkins County till 9 o'clock, just up to the north and northwest of Tyler. No, you're keeping a close eye on it. Yeah.